are saying to the human race for the first time, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. Former military intelligence officer turned whistleblower David Grush telling News Nation that a sophisticated conspiracy exists in the bowels of the U.S. government to keep the truth from us that they know about the existence of aliens. Now, our guest, Garrett Graff, also believes that the government has something they're not telling you, but he takes it a different way. He's the author of UFO, the inside story of the U.S. government's search for alien life here and out there. Garrett, long time no see. It's good to see you again, brother. How you been? It, it, it's great to be back with you, Chris. And it's, uh, you know, I've always been uh, a fan of your work. You do the job the right way. And I'm not just saying that because I agree with you. I am open, but it is hard to believe that the U.S. government has proof of alien life and they haven't told us. You say what you find equally troubling is a different kind of conspiracy of secrecy, that there's a cover-up of what? Uh, so I think that the UFO phenomenon is real. The UAP phenomenon is real. There are things out there that we don't understand what they are, that the government doesn't understand what they are. Um, but where the, you know, I've spent the last two years sort of studying this for this book. I've spent 20 years covering national security. And to me, what is actually more interesting and troubling as a taxpayer and as a citizen, as a journalist in this space is I think that the government's cover-up at its core is not about its knowledge of UFOs, but about its ignorance of UFOs. And that it does not actually know what these things are. If I could save time in a bottle First thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. If I could make days and he ended the freaking game with something else. So this thing fires a beam of light at the warhead, hits it, goes around like this, fires another beam of light, goes down like this, fires another beam of light, and then flies out the way it came in. So Major Vansman said to me, this illustration helps us to comprehend the physics-breaking movements of the UFOs documented by the DOD. At 13,000 miles an hour and, and change directions instantly. We fly the SR-71 at 3,200 miles an hour. If you wanted to take a right-hand turn, it would take you roughly half the state of Ohio to do it. And yet what we're seeing are objects that can do 90-degree turns instantly. The amount of G's exerted after a turn like this would instantly destroy any occupants ten times over, along with vaporizing the craft. 